This is a quick video to let you know that the Action Commander add-on has been updated. Action Commander is an essential add-on if you work with many actions inside your blend file. Because from the add-ons interface, you can just click on an action and assign it. And that also automatically adjusts your frame range. This can easily save you thousands of clicks over time. But I already have a separate video about the main functions of the add-on. In this video, we'll just focus on the updates. And by the way, Blender Market is running a sale right now, so you can get the add-on a little bit cheaper. The sale will be over very soon, but if you're watching this video, you'll have another chance to save in the next week or so. Information about the additional discount will be displayed on screen now. Before we get into it, just want to mention addons.cgdive.com. This is CG Dive's attempt to organize Blender add-ons and resources in a way that makes sense. So for example, the Action Commander is under Animation because it deals with actions and animations. So Animation, and then we go to Action and Pose Management. And here you'll find Action Commander along with other similar add-ons. If you click on the Action Commander entry, You'll find some info about the add-on, my previous in-depth review and tutorial, official documentation, and I'll try to add a short article as well. Now let's check out the Action Commander updates. The first update is that the add-on now works in Blender 4.1. And as with most add-ons by Blender Boy, the latest features only work with the latest Blender version. So if you're using Blender 4.1, make sure to download the B4.1 version of the add-on. And if you're still using Blender 4, then get the B4.0 version. But the 4.0 version does not include these updates. The first actual update has to do with the tags system in Action Commander. If we click on this button here and enable tags, we can tag our actions, which is great if you have a lot of actions and you need to organize them. Tags already existed in the previous version, but now they work a little bit better. I'll just add a couple of comma separated tags. And now if I expand the tags section, you'll see that we actually have buttons. And if I just click on the A tag, that will filter all actions that have the A tag. Simple. And we can now control the width of these buttons. So I can make them smaller or wider. And this button automatically adjust the width of the button depending on the length of the tag's name. Next we have a small but nice feature. All actions in the action list have this action icon next to them and if you don't have it make sure to enable action icon for decoration. If you shift click on the icon this will give you a list of all default blender icons and you can choose one. And that will now become the icon for your action. That is just for decoration and it is another way to organize and visually distinguish your actions, which can be useful when there are a lot of actions in your list. Another new feature is the ability to add preview clips to your animations. Preview clip needs to be enabled in the visibility options. Then I'm going to create a camera. And so first I need to render out the preview clip. I'm going to render out a quick viewport animation. I'll do the same for the remaining animations. Because Action Commander automatically adjusts the frame range, this is very simple. I just click on the action, change the name, and render. Now for each animation, I'll expand its options and add a preview clip. And you'll see the icon change. Let's set up the other ones. And now I just need to click on this icon and that will open Blender's own animation viewer and I can press spacebar to play. I can drag the timeline. So a nice preview feature, I guess what I would like to see is a batch render feature so that you can just set up the viewport and all preview clips will be rendered out from a specific camera. And the last important new feature, you can now export the actions that you have in this file to a separate file. And that is just the actions without the meshes. 
This can be very cool if you want to create a custom action library. Blender currently does not have support for actions in the asset browser, but you could use this feature to create your own workflow. To use it, make sure that the select this action visibility toggle is enabled and you'll be able to select actions. So only the selected actions will be exported. Let me untick happy, for example, and then I'll go here to this triangle and go all the way down to export selected actions to multiple blend files or to one file. So we have two options. Let's try multiple blend files first. It doesn't matter what name you set here because Action Commander will use the exported actions name as the name for the blend file. So just press export to multiple blend files and then I'll go to the folder where the actions are supposed to be. Okay, so I have slight trouble with this feature. However, I was able to figure out what the problem was. Currently, you have to have the armature selected and then go to export actions to multiple blend files and then just click the export button. And now your actions will be saved as individual blend files. And let's try the other option, export to one blend file. Now I can name my file and that will actually affect it. Now this file should contain both the drunk and kick actions. So I'll start another Blender instance and drag and drop this file into it. And here is a warning that I haven't seen before. It says library file loading empty scene. That is because there are no objects in the scene, I guess. But if we go to blend file in the outliner and look under actions, you'll see that the exported actions are there. And same with the individual action files. The exported action will be in this file. And so in our main scene, of course, we can go to file, append or link and append our actions. But Action Commander also has dedicated feature for appending and linking. So if I choose it, I'll be able to append or link the actions that are in this file. Right, and they'll be added here to my list. Very cool feature, and Blender Boy mentioned that he may implement a similar feature of exporting the selected actions, but instead of blend files, it would use FBX or GLTF. That sounds cool, but it isn't in this version of the add-on. Please click like, subscribe, and check out addons.cgdive.com if you want to discover cool Blender add-ons.